Not too long ago, I saw a video about an event that happened earlier this year where a guy uh, holstered a Glock pistol in an appendix carry holster, bent over, and shot himself in the groin. So we're going to talk about that a little bit in this video. We'll talk about appendix carry, and we'll talk about how hog holsters can, can allow you to avoid issues like that if you choose to appendix carry, and just how versatile the hog holster system is for wherever you want to carry a firearm. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me. I don't know where exactly what led me to this video, but you, you may have seen it yourself. Um, there was a, there's a video that was from surveillance camera, and I think it was like in a gun store. There was a guy sitting at a counter uh, at a table doing something. Anyway, he was messing with his pistol, and it turned out it was a Glock pistol. And he also in his appendix carry holster. He stood up. He went somewhere else, you know, and he bent over like this to do something. You hear a bang, and he's, oh, I shot myself. And a lot of the video titles, you may have seen this on YouTube, is, you know, Glock pistol goes off in the holster. So the contention is that, you know, he just buying his own business and it goes bang. I've heard other people say, you know, that's why I don't appendix carry because I don't want, you know, you want to shoot yourself. And <laughs> there's a lot of stuff you don't want to shoot down here, you know what I'm saying? Including your femoral artery, which you can bleed out really quickly. But there's other pretty important stuff there, too. And so they're saying, you know, Glock, that's why I don't carry a Glock, because it can just go off. i got to have a safety on mine. Well, first of all, Glocks have like three internal safeties. And if a Glock safety can fail, so can an external safety. But in my opinion, most likely what happened was he was reholstering his weapon, and he got something caught in, and just let me go ahead and show you. No mag, nothing in the chamber here. We're, we're, can you see that? We're safe. So we're all safe here. The, um, the, the, my thought thinking is, and a lot of people agree, that he had a t-shirt on underneath there, and when he holstered in the appendix, his t-shirt got caught between there somehow, and then his gun maybe wasn't seated all the way down. Then when he bent over, his belly pushed it down, and it made it go bang. Uh, that, I think, is the most logical assumption. Now, as you see, I don't normally carry appendix carry. Actually, I don't ever carry appendix carry. I carry it right here because a couple of reasons. First of all, that's what I'm used to. That's what my muscle memory is keyed in on. Second of all, um, I got a little bit of a hangover here that just makes it uncomfortable, uncomfortable for me to carry appendix carry. But uh, what I do think is important, if you're going to do that, I think there's some things you can do which, are, which would really um, probably make it a lot safer. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the old hangover here a little bit, but I usually carry my pistol right about here. I'm not a appendix carry guy because, as you can see, I got a little bit of a little bit of stuff in the way. But if you are, what's cool about a hog holster or in any carry is the the typical, the probably the most dangerous time for most people is if you're carrying a live pistol with one in the chamber, which this does not have, but pretend it does, and you go to reholster. Is if something snags in that in that trigger, whether it's a whether it's a piece of a flap off a, a leather holster or, or a, a piece of your shirt or whatever, then it goes bang, and you just got an MD. Hopefully, it just hits the ground. But if it's the, the problem is with the Penix carry right here, it's pointed at a whole bunch of bad stuff. You got a femoral artery which you can bleed out um, in a very short period of time. And again, like we said, there's other stuff that you don't want to get shot there. So what's really cool about a hog holster is it's so easy to take on and off. You just push your belt down a little bit, pop that clip up, it's off. So I got my hog holsters here set up for appendix carry. And that's what's really cool about the hog holster. It, it can go anywhere. This one little clip really works really well. This thing, it's got the retention. It's really, really good. It's not coming out of there. I'm pulling pretty hard. and But it gives you the ability to... Um, just pop it off, take it, move it around. If you want to go to cross draw, cross draw, there you go. If you're in cross draw, um, you can put it in, just wherever you want to go, just clip it and move it. That's good, which I think that's pretty cool. Um, and it's very easy to do. Bam, down, you're good. I just lose my belt up to make it easier. You can't poke it down between there, but but anyway, <clears throat> as far as the shooting yourself in the jump, what I think happened is, or what most people seem to think happened is. You know, if you've got a shirt on, this guy had a t-shirt on underneath here. If this gun got holstered and the t-shirt got snagged in the in the button there, let's, let's make sure it's, it's a lot. Then, and he didn't push it all the way down in, it's possible that as he bent over, he got pushed down in like that and went bang. Um, so, what's cool about the hog holsters, 
it, it allows you to very easily solve that problem and remove all that risk of anything getting in between your trigger and your holster when you're reholstering because reholstering is probably one of the most areas that has the most potential for causing an, an ND, a negligent, a negligent discharge and or injury. So all you have to do if you're trying to reholster a hog holster, say we got a live gun, you just uh, pop it out. Perfectly safe. You know there's nothing in the way. Push it back down. You're good to go. You know there's nothing that's going to get interfered and, and maybe accidentally cause your trigger to be pulled. And then uh, if you want to move it, it's really easy. Pick it up. Move it back here. And I just pop my, pull my belt out just enough because you really want this to connect onto your pants, which is pretty cool. That's one of the things I really like about this hot holster with the regular Ulti Clip is it hooks onto your pants. So anywhere, you don't even have to wear a belt. You can go with I mean, literally without a belt. Just take the belt off. The belt doesn't do anything. It still works and you can still reholster. But you can also take it off safely reholsters and put it back on okay i know that there's going to be a lot of people that say you should be able to reholster your pistol without removing your holster and by the way i fully agree you should be able to do that however i've never been involved in a shooting but i've talked to people who have and my understanding is that if you are involved in that kind of situation your adrenaline levels are going to be through the roof your heart rate is going to be crazy high your, your fine motor skills are, are, are potentially just destroyed in disarray i mean life as you know it is, is completely turned upside down so it'd be very easy to just not not pay attention not just uh, just get your t-shirt caught in there or something caught in there maybe during the firing an empty round went in your holster whatever um, to me it just makes sense to be able to, to be able to pop this off make sure it's empty reholster and put it back on in a very short period of time so you don't have any issues with um with potential negligent discharge potentially shooting yourself or somebody else or anywhere especially not in critical areas so that's, that's that's just um that's really one of the i think one of the big benefits of a hog holster plus as you saw it's just really easy to move it to wherever you want to it's not necessarily a appendix carry specific holster or a you know three o'clock side carry or a cross draw carry it is absolutely a once a one position fits all kind of carry you just put it wherever you want and it just plain works so um and, and you know john at hog holster is a friend of mine he's a sponsor of this channel he sponsors my shot show trip every year um, he's become a really good friend of mine so obviously i am probably a little biased towards his holsters but the reason is because when I got one and tried it, I fell in love with it. That's just, it was the coolest holster I've ever seen. Um, maybe part of that's due to the Ulti Clip, part of it's due to John's design, but it just stinking works. So if you're looking for a really good, really versatile holster design that, that, that you can that you can carry in multiple positions and also has the ability to uh, minimize the risk of shooting yourself in a, well, you know, um, you might want to check out hog holsters i highly recommend it and john also offers a 10 percent discount to the viewers of this channel by using the coupon code survival on purpose at checkout tell john i said hello whatever you do just be really safe and when you're reholstering any pistol make sure that your holster is clear and there's nothing to interfere with the trigger you're, you're, i mean if, if the trigger gets pulled most guns are going to go bang um so it's really important to, to manage that so don't shoot yourself Anyway, I hope it's been helpful. As always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and Saturday and very often random videos throughout the week. There's another one right there. And if you're not subscribed, please click down in the corner, click the subscribe button and that little bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. And also, I really appreciate you doing your Amazon shopping and online shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared.